Hey, good morning. What is happening, YouTube? Thank you for tuning into Rules for Rebels. I just wanted to make a quick video sharing eBay's new Smart Share feature. So, uh, what it is, it's a Chrome extension and it's part of the eBay Partner Network. So, any of you guys who are into affiliate marketing and who like doing affiliate marketing through Amazon, here is just another venue to. Uh, to, to pitch products from eBay and this new site stripe feature makes it a lot easier to do. So uh, before we kind of get into this and maybe share uh, a couple like affiliate marketing strategies with you guys, um, I thought I would just kind of show you what it is. So um, let's say we're on eBay, right? And let's say we're looking for like a hyper color t-shirt, right? You guys remember those hyper color shirts from the 90s where you blow on it and it changes colors. So here we have a vintage 80s, 90s, authentic genera hyper color. So we're gonna click that hyper color and then you guys, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Let me bring that up. Okay, so you see this uh, share icon right up here. Uh, I downloaded eBay's Chrome browser, Smart, Smart Share from eBay. I simply click that and I have a link. I can copy that link. And if I want to embed it into a blog post, share it on Twitter, etc., cetera, um, it, it's that easy. You can also share your affiliate links directly on Facebook and Pinterest just with one click of a button. And well, it may seem like, okay, well, you know, what's a big deal? Amazon does the same thing, right? So let, let's hop over here to Amazon and we'll look for like a uh, V20 phone case. Okay, so we'll say we like, uh, we like this teal one here. So we just go up and we click uh, text and we got a link there, right? So pretty similar features, but why this is kind of such a big deal for eBay in the past, we would have to log into our eBay uh, partner network account. We'd have to go down to the link generator. Okay, we'd have to select eBay. We gotta select eBay US. Okay, now, you know, let's say we wanted to display search results. We gotta put in a bunch of keywords. You know, we'll do, uh, you know, phone case. LG V20, you know, we'd have to do that for search results for an item. We'd have to go find, okay, through this hyper color, you know, let's go find, uh, where's the item number? I think the item number is right here. We got to copy and paste it. We got to jump back over here. We got to put the item ID in, geo target. No, we got to create a campaign. It just, you know, it may not seem like a ton of work, but if you're writing a blog post and you just want to grab a quick link to embed in there as a hyperlink, uh, you know, this is, it kind of takes you away from your writing. It takes you away from what you're doing. Whereas here, rather than doing all that, simply one click and we got our link right there. So uh, Amazon did this a while back with the site stripe and it's for any, any of you guys out there who are affiliate marketers, it just makes the process of grabbing links and stuff so much quicker and easier. Um, and eBay's finally done, uh, you know, done the same thing and come out with theirs. So it's called Smart Share. Um, you know, I'll link to this page that talks about what Smart Share is, how it works. Really easy to get set up. Just download the uh, download the uh, the Chrome browser add-on, which you can do right from this page, and, and you're in business. Now, when it comes to like what type of affiliate marketing do you want to do through eBay? Um, you know, eBay is an interesting company. They have an interesting history. So I remember as like a teenager back in the days when you would still have to go get a cashier's check and send it in, you know, way before PayPal and before everybody had merchant processing online and way before Stripe, you actually had to go to the bank or go to the post office and buy a postal money order, send it to the guy, which took a couple days and he would get the check. He'd have to cash it and take a couple more days. You know, like your typically e-commerce transaction took like two or three weeks at that time. But what's kind of cool about eBay, like at least in my opinion, like eBay basically started e-commerce, right? Like all the online shopping we have now, all these Shopify stores, I mean, it really all started from eBay. And it, it, it's kind of funny or interesting how a company who basically creates an entire new industry and who's kind of leading the pack um, goes to being like kind of the crappiest one in the pack. Like Amazon has obviously surged way past eBay in terms of popularity. Um, and I think Amazon Prime has a lot to do with it. You know, when you pay a hundred bucks up front uh, at the beginning of the year for your shipping. It's like, well, I've already paid for shipping. I like getting my items free shipping. I like getting them in two days. I'll shop on Amazon. So, I mean, if I'm gonna go buy a phone case, I'm probably gonna go buy it off Amazon as opposed to eBay. But eBay, I think, is actually good for, for kind of niche items or interesting items. So, uh, in terms of if you're an affiliate marketer, like what would be a good strategy? What would be some good products to market? How would you do it, et cetera? So, you know, I wouldn't focus on run-of-the-mill products that you can get from Amazon. I would focus on more unique products. So 
I don't know, just as an example, and I don't know if this would be a good niche or not, but my, my girlfriend really loves the 90s, right? She loves slap bracelets and hyper color shirts and neon stuff. And, um, you know, it's not just her. I think a lot of people, uh, as they get a little bit older, they start getting nostalgic for a lot of the things that they had as a kid. And now that they're working and have jobs and have money, they can actually afford to get some of that stuff. And then also people start having kids and are like, oh, you know, this used to be my favorite toy when I was a kid. I'll, I'll buy my kid this toy or... Hey, have you ever played it? You know, ask your son, have you ever played Atari? You've never played Atari. You know, maybe I'll hop on eBay, see if I can get a used Atari, Atari in some games. So you want to kind of share these nostalgic things from your childhood with your kids or whatever else. And you're not going to find hypercolor shirts on Amazon. You're not going to find used Atari games or used Nintendo games on Amazon. So, you know, just keep in mind, eBay is more meant for used items for vintage items, for unique things. Like, you know, Amazon is all stuff imported from Alibaba. It's all Chinese stuff. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? There's a place for that. Like I said, if I'm gonna buy a phone cord or a, a phone case or something, I'm going to Amazon. But for more unique items, I'm going to eBay. So, um, you know, you could create like a blog or a, a social media platform across like Pinterest and Twitter and Instagram. And you could do something like cool shit. You know, maybe I, maybe I set up like a Pinterest account, an Instagram account, a blog, a YouTube account and I call it like cool shit from the 90s, right? And all I do is share cool shit from the 90s. And so like on a YouTube channel, I might find like old commercials, right? Like an old hypercolor commercial or an old like slap bracelet commercial or an old Pepsi commercial. And just so the whole feel of the channel is just kind of nostalgia, the 90s. And I might share some videos like that. That's just kind of in an attempt to drive traffic. I might do like the uh, the 90s product of the day. And every day I tweet out and post on Pinterest and post, post on Instagram, like a fun, interesting, like 90s, uh, Let's see, slap bracelet, like a fun 90s product that people are going to remember uh, from their childhood. Um, let's see, 90s toys, you know, but yeah, I would just find kind of cool, find unique products and, and, and do like a product of the day. And the cool thing is like, even if somebody clicks through on my hypercolor ad, even if they don't buy a hypercolor shirt, if they see something else that looks fun and they buy that, I'm still going to get credit for a sale. If I'm not mistaken, I believe the eBay Partner Network has a 24-hour cookie time. Um, I'm actually going to be starting kind of a, a, a new hustle. I don't know if it's going to work or not. It's going to be something I'm probably going to try out for a couple weeks. Um, if I get some traction, I'll, I'll probably run with it. If I don't, I'll probably drop it. But uh, lately, I've been interested in the idea of buying like an, an old school bus and fixing it up into like an RV. I've always kind of liked the idea of like van dwelling and stuff like that. And they actually have some cool... Um, Let's see, uh, bus RV conversion. Now, obviously, these are like really expensive. Here's like $125,000 for like an old, you know, uh, Greyhound bus that's been turned into like a really, really nice RV or tiny house. Uh, but you can also find cheaper stuff on here, right? You can find like little, uh, you know, short buses that people turned into RVs that are going for three, four thousand dollars $4,000. So I had kind of a cool idea. I started a Reddit uh, group. I just did it yesterday, so it really doesn't have any members or anything, but I got a few posts up there. I started a Reddit group called Schoolies for Sale, um, and basically I'm going to be posting uh, school buses for sale. Now, uh, let's see, like where I kind of got the idea from. So there's a, a site called schoolie.net, which is like a, a forum for people into converting school buses, and they have a buy, sell, swap, and trade category. Now, people who are members of the forum uh, can post their own buses for sale. Uh, you know, here's a 1990 bus in Florida or in Texas, and this guy can post his bus. But what people do here is people also share, um, you know, buses that they find on their local Craigslist or eBay or whatever else. So, uh, you know, the, the whole living in a school bus niche, uh, you know, schoolies as they call it, it's a very small, a very narrow niche. But uh, because of that, there's not a whole lot of sources out there for like where to find buses. Like you, you're left having to hop around to every city's Craigslist searching. You're having to look on eBay. So my idea was to kind of try to find one platform and consolidate all the school buses for sale that I could find um, from you know eBay, uh, school bus forums, etc. Um, let me see here, Reddit. I just kind of show you what I what I threw together here. Okay, so uh, the subreddit is called Schoolies for Sale, as you can see here. I got about 13 links up last night. Most of these are eBay links. I think a couple of them are Craigslist and a couple of them are forum posts. But the idea here is if somebody uh, who's looking for buses comes to my subreddit, they can see I've kind of curated um, all the local buses for sale for them. And if somebody, you know, clicks one of these, oh, that looks like kind of a cool bus. 
oh, they're, they're taken to eBay. And now if they buy the school bus, which probably unlikely, right? Like higher ticket items are harder to sell. But if they buy the school bus, I earn an affiliate commission off that. But the beautiful thing here is even if they don't buy the school bus, maybe they see people who viewed this item also viewed and maybe somebody's already living the school bus and maybe they see like a little buddy heater, which is like a little propane heater. Or maybe they see like a propane camping stove. If they see that and click that, and obviously this is a, a camper, not a camping stove, but you know, they show uh, related products. Um, I could also link to uh, eBay searches for like van dwelling and things like that. But even if they buy a different product than I sent them over here to view, I still get paid. So I think the challenge with this strategy is most people I think shop on Amazon way more than they shop on eBay. Um, but you know, in the van dwelling in this, in the schoolie community, I think there are a lot of people buying stuff off eBay. A lot of people buying like used, uh, camping goods, used composting toilets, used grills. You know, people are trying to save money. It's kind of more of a frugal bunch, but I do know personally, like for every, like 25, say every 25 purchases I make on Amazon, I maybe make one purchase on eBay. So, you know, people are, I think Amazon is easier for affiliate marketing in that sense. Uh, but I think what eBay has going for it is the unique products, the used products. And one other example I wanted to show you, and again, you know, I, I want to keep getting back to, I wouldn't be marketing like phone cases and run of the mill garbage on eBay. I would focus on more unique items. So here's this website. It's called Cardboard Connection. Uh, my business partner, uh, we do a little bit of sports cards and sports memorabilia and stuff like that. So this is a card he uses. Uh, but what it is, that this site is all about sports cards. The guy who put together this site is, is really a smart marketer. I mean, he's selling... Uh, advertising to a lot of sports cards breakers and sports card shops. But another thing he does, he has a new release calendar. So, you know, people who are into collecting sports cards are always looking for what's the next hot card coming out. Oh, Panini's got this baseball product coming out. So here he's got the release dates of all these products. So let's say Panini Vertex Football, and they got like a checklist, right? So for people who break sports cards, there's a site called breakers.tv where people open up cards and it's kind of like a, um, got a lottery gambling type thing. Um, but anyhow, uh, you know, those guys need these checklists. So this guy provides a checklist, which brings the traffic to his site. Um, also consumers want to know, okay, if I get into this guy's break, or if I buy this box of cards, like whose autograph could potentially come out of it? What, what are the best cards coming out of here? So here he describes the products. And again, he's basically just stealing this info right off of like Panini's website because they talk about, you know, they provide checklists, they talk about the cards. So he just does a little write up about like what to expect in these cards. And then down below here, again, he's using the eBay Partner Network. So here's a 2017 Vertex Eddie Jackson autographed card. Um, so you could do this with a lot of other things, you know, like uh, I thought this was really kind of genius how he set it up. And what's really smart about this is people who buy sports cards, they're not just going to buy a pack of cards today, right? Like literally every new product that comes out, they're buying. So people are constantly checking his site to see what the new products coming out, what the best cards out of the products coming out are to get checklists. And then, you know, below each product, if they want to buy that product, whether whether it be individual cards or boxes of cards, uh, they can do that right through his site. Let's see if we if we go to shop boxes. So some people may be like, oh, I, don't, I don't want to get into a sports card break. I just want to buy a whole box. Well, he's got boxes listed here. So if you shop this product, you think it looks interesting, you like his write up, you click here and now you're taken over to eBay where you can buy this for one hundred ninety nine dollars. And then he's going to get I forget what percentage eBay is paying, but uh I think they pay like 70 or 80% of whatever eBay makes off of fees, right? So it sounds really high in reality. It's not that high, but you know, eBay fees are normally about 10%. So on this product, it'd be about $20, uh, 70 or 80% of $20 is, you know, $14, something like that. So uh, pretty decent commissions. And he's got a site that people are going to keep coming back to week after week after week. And then they don't even have to buy sports cards. They can buy something else and he'll still get credit for the sale. But, uh, you know, it's kind of interesting. I, I, I don't really buy individual stocks anymore. I'm more into buying funds, but I would almost be tempted to buy some eBay stock. Uh, reason being eBay seems like they're giving a shit again, right? Like eBay's rolling out their own payment processor. Uh, they're starting to get affiliates promoting stuff on their site. You know, they hadn't done anything to improve the eBay partner network in a long time. I haven't really bothered with the eBay partner network in, in well over a year. And now that they got this smart share, it just makes the process a lot faster, a lot easier. Um, so yeah, I, I might give it a try. I'm going to try this little school bus thing. Uh, let me know if you guys have any ideas. Have any of you guys ever had any success with the eBay Partner Network? Drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And we'll catch you guys on the next video.